the medical watch a prognosis for Tiger Woods after his rollover accident. Our yesterday. medical reporter Dina Bear is here. She spoke with an orthopedic surgeon about that long road ahead. Ben and Lord, as Tiger Woods is lucky to be alive, and now doctors say he's fortunate to still have his leg. The nature of the injury he suffered can lead to amputation. The golf great had multiple fractures. He required a rod and screws in the bone and suffered tissue damage. Now the risk for infection is of great concern. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Brian Cole says the surgery to save his leg may not be his last operation. In isolation, this is a tough injury to recover from, and I know everyone will be uh, asking the question, will he ever play golf again? Uh, I think the, peop the thing that we should focus on and, and, and hope for is that he has uh, a pain-free existence with uh, normal gait, normal function, uh, just because of the nature of the, in the injury itself, especially to the hind foot. Uh, as far as the rehab goes, it's going to be a prolonged period of uh, uh, non-weight bearing, most likely, that causes muscle atrophy and disuse. Uh, clearly, his back hi hi history might contribute, and what we don't know is what have been the contributions of um, um, the uh, the in, this initial injury right now to aggravating his back or other things. We Dr. Cole says being an elite athlete helps as Tiger Woods is in good shape. He has the perseverance and intelligence to manage and rehab a serious injury and the resources to get him rehabilitated properly. COVID fear is prompting more people to get their flu shot. More U.S. adults received their flu shot in the 2020-21 flu season than ever before. The University of Georgia researchers say more than 66% of those surveyed said they got or intend to get the influenza vaccine. In the last flu season, only 48% of adults opted for the flu shot. Flu vaccine seekers did differ though among white and black and brown people with 48% of white respondents getting the flu vaccine versus 35% for Hispanics and 30% for blacks. COVID vaccine response is following similar discrepancies in interest and there's a lot of fear surrounding this, but there's yeah. also a lot of hope. And I think we just have to see the science play out over the months. All right, change that fear. Okay, thank you, Dina.